Hello and welcome to Bell Curve Gaming and today I'm bringing you a Marshadow Machamp deck as requested by Wexamania and Toaster of Doom. So what's this guy do? Well he's got two attacks we're more interested in more than anything else, the 100 blows impact for 3 NGs which does 160 and his Acme of Heroism GX attack for 200 and if you do have 4 NGs onto it then you basically give yourself immunity for a turn because if you get knocked out by an attack your health becomes 10 HP and that's absolutely clutch. We do have revenge as well which is good if you have a Pokemon that's knocked out in the previous turn because it's got 3 base damage that does an extra 90 if that was the case. So we're not really wanting to lead with Marsh Animal Champ and unfortunately we don't have good energy acceleration to him so what we really are is a slow build deck so what we've built is an absolutely filthy deck and that is because we are after discarding as many NGs as we can to slow our opponents down as we go. So we got Crushing Hammers here to slow our opponents down. We've got Plumerias to discard NGs and slow our opponent down while we're attacking with our free NG attack alone in the Meowth if we're going second or a Lowland Persian if we go um, first. So that's really how the deck works. We're trying to get in with our cats early, Crushing Hammers, Plumerias, slow our opponents down while we build up our Marshadow Machamp in the back line. And once he's built up and he's ready to roll, then we start hitting in with our Marshadow Machamp. So that's the reason we need just like the rest of the cards here is just to set that up. We've got switches to try and get our cat into it. We've got power plants just to try and slow our opponent down if they're relying on GX uh, abilities in the play. Got Guzmans to pull things up and then we got our draw supporter line after that. So that's how the deck works. Shall we begin? I think we shall. Hello Yukimak and welcome. This hand will play well enough, I guess. Beggars can't be choosy. Or too choosy, anyway. We've got the Pokemon we want, so that's good. Is this a boring deck? Is this a Gyarados deck? This is looking like a Gyarados deck, which is a boring deck. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gyarados decks are boring. They bore me. They really do. Yeah, we'll draw a card. No, it's an Eevee Snorlax deck. All right. With Blastoise to power him up, maybe. Okay, well, that was different. I'll give you that. It's not a boring deck. <laughs> Palkai, Suicune. Interesting. At least we get some chip damage in. Not that it really matters, but hey, we got some chip damage in, so that's good. It'd be rude if you made me switch. Kind of want to keep the switch card on hand, don't we? Um, we'll energy attach to you. We'll ultra ball. Do I want to ultra ball things away here? Kind of want to keep the cat. What else do we need down? Grab another Orangaroo. We'll get rid of the cat. We'll go get ourselves another Orangaroo. Yep, that sounds fun. And we'll just instruct him. Got a Plumeria that we could use, but we don't want it. We'll just spoil the fun, I think. Yeah, we're fine for that. Spoil the fun. We can't get any big attacks off in the next turn. Do need to find our way into another energy card. That's for sure. Oh, very slow turn. Oh, well, we might as well crushing hammer. Nice. Alright, well we might as well ultra ball. Go and get ourselves a cat. Persian, come out to play. We do need to find ourselves an NG. So, oops. Oh well, you instruct. Well, one energy card on cue. Uh, we'll instruct again. Got the switch again. <laughs> Empty threat. 
Continue chipping in. So we like the switch here, because if you do get it, you know, use your jets here, well, we just, we'll just switch back into the Marsh Champ. Whatever we're doing here, we really wanted to switch back into the Marsh Champ. That's really what we're playing at. And to start putting pressure on with him, so... That's the game plan, anyway. And what do you do? Okay, Pokemon Fan Club. Wouldn't mind probably targeting down that Blastoise. If we could. A Goose would be nice to do it. Can I get there with a Persian? With a Choice Fan, I can. If you don't energy attach here. Ding at the NG. Uh, sorry, the Choice Band. Well, we get rid of that NG. You weren't wanting that NG, were you? How about the other NG? Ah, oh, boo! Ah, can we find a choice pan? Can we find a choice pan? Yes, we can. <laughs> Do you want another me up down? No, we don't. Choice pan. That's fun. Empty threat. MVP. 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 <laughs> Who needs big, hefty Pokemon to take down Eevee Snorlaxes? Persians, Persian does just fine. Persian does just fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely an MVP chant on the Persian right now. MVP chant on the Persian. Huge KO there. And if you KO this, in fact, I'm just GX attacking. We're not playing around here. We are not playing around. We could go heavy after, I guess. The other choice band, try and dig for the other one. It sounds pretty good to me as well. I don't mind that. So hydro pressure. Otherwise we just GX attack. It sounds pretty fair to me to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what we're doing here, what we're doing here is we're digging for a choice band if we can. That's what we're going for. So ultra ball here. We'll get rid of the Meowth, we'll get rid of Eliza. That sounds pretty good. And we'll go and get ourselves... Deancey. Why do I keep forgetting about Deancey? You're the answer here. Did not need the choice band. Why is it that I always forget about Deancey being a thing? Anyway, we'll... Hold the hand, to be honest, because I don't see you getting me this term. Anyway, we'll take out Palkite. Grab another couple of rice cards. And you now need to protect the KO. <laughs> Otherwise this is going to be an absolute whitewash. MVP is still definitely the uh, Persian. Definitely the Persian. MVP. For sure. For sure. <laughs> I don't know if he's still here. I mean that's another four NGs in the discard. How many NGs have you in discard? Oh, only six. He should still have plenty of NGs. Should still have plenty of NGs. I mean you can uh, hit and run here. Is a hit and run, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. It's only if he's damaged. Yeah. Oh, and you whiffed on the water engines as well. Ouch. <laughs> Easy win. Hello. Aloha, buddy. Did I just say, like, hello, aloha? Isn't that the same thing? Hello and aloha? <laughs> Something like that. Aloha, buddy. Welcome. Gotta stop playing this game deck. I just love it so much, so. This is like, I finished the game, it's like, ah, oh, just one more, just one more. Yeah, one more's fine, one more's fine. A couple of mulligans, that's, that's rare. We'll chuck a Rangu up front here. We'll chuck the Marsh Champ up back. We are fine with that. Let him accept his couple more cards, and uh, let's get started. Grubbin. Ah, Vic Vault. Vic a Vault. This could be awkward. Choice Band, I don't think it's going to give me much value unless it's the GX Vic Vault. I mean, it could be Rayquaza. I don't know. It could be a Rayquaza. 
The only thing you marshadow out of this, yeah, marshadow out of this sounds fine by me. So we'll chuck an NG to you. We'll Ultra Ball you and you away. We'll go and let loose here. We're fine with that. We'll instruct one first. See what I get myself. Cynthia? No, we're not going to play the Cynthia. We want to let loose. I want to get rid of his big hand. That's what we want to do. We've got a nice lily pool as well, so that's even better. So what do we want here? We'll nest ball, we'll go and get ourselves a cat. That sounds pretty good to me. Because if we can get the switch play on this, and we actually have a sneaky KO as well. Didn't get the switch, but that's fine. That's fine. We... Crushing hammer. Yep, sounds good. And missed. Unfortunate. Oh, well, we'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. We're good with that. So I'll be chucking the old next fighting NG onto one. Chuck a DC onto you now. Maybe the DC onto you. Mm, I'm feeling like this is potentially requires. <laughs> you gotta let loose me back. Fair enough. <laughs> you must have drawn pretty dead on it. That's all right. That's all right. That's fine. Got a cat. Got choice band. <laughs> Which I still think is going to be pretty useless to me. I want to kind of have De uh, Deontay uh, De and Deontay. Deontay. Excuse me. Uh, we got a fighting energy, so that's good. I really don't want to fill this spot here with Meowth. And there is a reason why I don't. Because I need another Mars Champ, and I need Deancey. So, Lily. Well. We'll get rid of you two and just get Deancey out now. Nope, Dancy's not here. Okay, well, we're just going to go with a Mars Champ, though. Unfortunately, I'm just stuck in the active. Halfway through the deck, can't find my switches yet. It's unfortunate, that's how it goes. At least we've got a Mars Champ pretty well ready to go. And you have the candy. And the candy up the back one. Just to be able to Fling in tons of energy to the field. Alright. Can't let loose that at the moment. But we can... Go DCE to you. Feeling like we're better off just ultra balling them two at this stage. And we'll go and get, if I don't have Deancey, we might as well go and get another Angry. We need to try and dig in for my switch. That's what we need to try and dig for. Well, we'll Cynthia. Still don't find it. Wow, I'm giving you so many turns. Just so many turns. It's ridiculous. No switches, no Guzmas, just absolutely nothing, so... We'll hold on to the Crushing Hammer at the moment. Might as well start setting you up. What we're going to do here is we're going to switch to the Persian and take the KO out with the Persian. And don't have Viridian at this stage. We'll just empty threat. Take out Grubbin. We'll grab our first prize card. Mm. 
Mm, you do have Guzma, by the looks of things. Which this will do 220. And I'm assuming you'll probably bring this guy up. Because that's going to be the toughest for me to get around. Crushing hammers are going to be completely useless to me, I've just realised. So we're probably digging for a switch again and probably GX attacking. So Electro Power, in fact 220, that's 250. Do you have another E Power? It would be devastating if you do. Getting rid of a couple of Vic Volts. Going pretty hard all out here, but it looks. We're angry down. Stretcher, get those back in deck. Should we have Guzma in hand? Unless you just went desperately searching for it. Do you count, like, as NGs I can discard? Nah, you got Guzma in hand. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. And that's the one that I would have brought up. So we're going to have to search for a switch. That's what we're going to have to search for. Going to keep them on. Fair enough. Ah, right, well, we'll crushing Hannah. Miss. Crushing Hannah. Get one. Get rid of you. It's one charge mark gone. And do I want to Viridian Forest? I'm feeling like I'm going to because I need to. Get rid of this guy. Get a Fighting NG. We can hit him if we absolutely have to, but we want to switch. We desperately want to switch here. Got a switch, finally. Alright. Switch this guy. Take the KO here. And... Trust that you're not going to have the KO this very turn. God damn, you have the uh, prize cards. It's unfortunate that you have 150 damage on you. That's super unfortunate. So you're going to get a candy. Plus you got to get a got to get a fair bit happening again. Do you have to get a fair bit happening again? If you leave this guy in the active, then I can start smashing through. So, feeling really good about that. Gonna go and get an NG. We'll just discard that NG if you uh, go and place it down. That's what we'll do. Let's play that NG down. We'll just discard it. I mean, you can go and get it back at some stage anyway. In fact, Excuse me. Are you going to switch and protect? Alright, we will discard it. We will discard that NG. And force you to use the Tappy Coco to go and get it back. And we might switch and tack into... Play in with the Persian instead. I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. Love top deck of Guzma though. Nope, didn't get that. Alright, so what we are going to do is we're going to plume area. You two away. Get rid of that lightning energy because you didn't need that. We... Ooh, This is awkward. We'll... Get rid of the plume area. We'll go and get a fighting energy. Just because we want another fighting energy on you. I will switch out to you at this stage. And we'll instruct. Another Persian, unfortunately. It's empty threat, take out you. Get another prize card. Take Liza switch, so we do have another switching option. Wouldn't mind my Guzmas at some point. So we might have to take Liza switch here just to get back into Marsh Champ. Choice band on. Gotta be very careful because that's one E power away. So I'm thinking. 
Uh, what I'm saying, with a choice band, that's one E power away from actually getting a one shot on this guy straight out. So I'm thinking we nearly attack him with this guy first. Just to get the pressure on and keep, you know, continuing to attack. So. Yeah, switch into the Marsh Champ. You're not going to have Guzman in this play because you've already lilied. What we want to essentially do is just put you in a position where I can get to two prize cards and then use my GX attack. You can't KO my Marsh Shadow and my Champ. So that's what we're playing for. So right here... We switch first, so we'll switch to this guy. We want to hold on to the NG for the moment, and I think we just go with the 100 blows impact. We'll give you the KO. So I know this is a weird way of thinking, but we'll give you the KO here. You might think Guzma into this guy and take him out. He's just an E power away. Although you don't have the Guzma. Oh, an E power and you needed the uh, other Vic Vault. We got the Charger Pug. You're just about there. In fact, you are there. So you do have the KO here. But what we do is... Basically, I need to find myself another switch card or something. I think the Plumeria is just a waste of time. Just in case you go off to a Guzma play. So we're GX attacking here. That's for sure. Absolutely for sure. And what we want to do is empty the hand as much as we can just to look for a Guzma or a Switch, which we didn't get. Do have a Crushing Hammer, which could be nice. Missed. Unfortunate. Empty the hand because we just need to keep digging. He might be uh, running away. So we'll instruct. Still didn't find the Guzma. Alright, well, Acme of Heroism. Hit him for 220. There it is. Alright, there we go. So we've got the card that we need. Just in case you try and Guzma trap me or somewhere. Something like that. Now Vic Vault comes out. So even if you do have the one shot, we're okay with that. Because we survive it. That's brilliant. <laughs> so E power. So you did have the one shot. <laughs> Just luckily my GX attack saves my life. <laughs> Yeah, well played. <laughs> and 100 blows impact. That was the plan. Just to play around with that GX attack on the two prize card turn. Good game, good game. Hello, Hamburski, and welcome. Plenty of hammers on the, uh, on the first hand. Alright, well, this will play. This will play quite nicely, hopefully. Pigarom deck too. Nice. Zerka tree. <laughs> Not who I was expecting to be teamed up with the old Pigarom. Didn't get a valuable lily pom. We do want the switch here, I feel. We do want the switch. So definitely going with the hammers, trying to get rid of that. So uh, we'll just hammers first. So hammer. Nope, missed. Hammer. Nope, missed. Alright. 
We'll go and get ourselves a Ranguri. Go and get ourselves a cat. Yep, a cat. Wouldn't mind a switch, please. <laughs> switch. Ah, uh, sorry, instruct. Didn't find it. We'll just Cynthia. Please find me a switch. Did not get the switch. Hammer. Got it. We got there. It took a while, but we got there. <laughs> um, feeling like we'll go and get another instructable here. Uh, a let loose. That's what we'll do. We'll go with a let loose. Gives me the best chance of probably finding that switch, and I wouldn't mind a switch right here, right now. Missed the switch. Oh well. We tried. We tried. Pass it over. DC to the back line. Not much happening for you. All right. Well, we'll play Mary here then. Sounds fine to me. We'll just play Mary. We'll leave the Guzma in hand. Take off that. Instruct. And for the moment, we'll just revenge, chip in. Get 60 in on you. And you're ready to KO on the next turn. Another DC on the back. <laughs> this is really unfortunate for you. <laughs> really unfortunate for you. I mean, what have I got to worry about, really? I haven't got anything to worry about. Um, what am I getting, really? Let's just... Ready in a way, this guy. And we don't want anything. We do want to instruct for a couple. I take Liza switches as well. I'm feeling like we've got what we want here, so we'll just 100 blast impact, smash through. And go, what have you got for me? There's the antsy. Just add to our damage output. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what you're gonna do. <laughs> I do not know what you're gonna do. Hello, Choclin, and welcome. All right, well, the antsy, you're going up front. So we're gonna do. Ah, oh, when it wants to actually go, there we go. All right. Oh, we don't have much of much at the moment. Mischievous Buzzwall. Okay. Well, oh, Cynthia. Okay, so we still didn't get much of much. Um, hmm, alright, well we'll go Marsh Champ down I guess. Guess that's what we're doing. And leaving it there. We just have to try and slow him down with some hammers. Getting Shrine, that's unfortunate. All right, well, we need to oust the shrine, that's for sure. We'll throw a hammer. Got it. All right, we'll Lily now for five. Ouch. Still not getting much. Just drawing dead at the moment. Okay, well, pass it through. Got the Mistrevious, so you can hit in with Buzzwall here. And you've got the KO. But you do give me a prize card, which is nice. So we got a Lily. You do need another Pokemon down. That's for sure. Another Mistrevious. Alright. This is Turbo Wall. This is Turbo Wall. I like it. Oh yeah, you're not on a sledgehammer turn, are you? <laughs> All 
All right, so we do have another chance to try and find a switch. I mean, let's crushing hammer. Missed. All right, so what do we want to do here? Viridian, yep, that sounds pretty good. And we want to go fighting in GTU, and I think we want to dig for a switch. It'd be kind of nice to keep you alive if I can. We're not going to be able to. So see you later, Deancey. <laughs> Not much else I'm doing with that. Um, play Meowth, not to play Meowth. I think it's a not to play Meowth at this stage. Honestly, pass it over. I mean, obviously, you have to get Mistrevious to open up Sledgehammer here. Yep, well, you got it that way. Rescue Stretcher, that'll work. So you do have Sledge Heaven turn here, and we're going to be um, still one ahead in the prize cards, but I am giving up three at some point, so... Oh, there's a switch! <laughs> right when we don't need it. Got a Beast Ring, so that's fine. we got Plumeria here. We want to burn this hand as well as we can. Ideally, what we want to do here, so we'll go you out, is get into another hammer. So, have a mouth down. We'll Ultra Ball to. I'm just seeing where my cards are going. Plumeria is more important. We're going to Plumeria here. One. Two. That's fine. Get rid of you. Well, then. Marshadow. Let loose. Hopefully don't find any more beast rings. Didn't get to what I was hoping for. Is there anything else I really want here? Second Orangaroo. Yeah, we'll pull him in. And maybe the Marsh Champ on the next turn. We're not going down here, are we? No, no, there's no way we're going down. So we'll just 100 blows impact, that's fine. Smack into you. Fortunately, these guys now have 300 HP, which is ridiculous. And it's definitely attacking on the next turn. I had 300 HP, 200 HP, which as long as there's no um, knee pads, I'm hoping that you don't find knee pads, because then I can GX attack and protect myself, and still get the KO. And I'm hoping you don't find any beast rings here as well. That's what we're really hoping. It's another stack attacker down. Liza, miss on the knee pads. Mysterious treasure. <laughs> Is this going for another marsh out of let loose? Nope. Just thinning. Oh, you're probably thinning that out and then let loosing. Nope. Alright. Okay, you did miss. So that means we are definitely 100%. Do you want to play Mary here? No, because there's nothing I need to do, and you've just got 200 HP, so we're fine just to GX on this exact turn. So, what we're doing is chucking the Persian down, and we'll just Cynthia out of this hand right now. And we're looking for another Marsh Champ. Didn't find it, so it's unfortunate because we can't start setting something up there, but we'll set up our Rangaroo for the moment. That's probably a bad idea when I think about that. Anyway, we'll just go with the Acme of Heroism. Smack through Stack Attacker here. And he's off a Beast Ring turn, so we're good with that. <laughs> I want to know, is this the list that I, uh, I made and I was playing with? Turbo Stack Attacker. 
Were you playing the knee pads? Were you playing the knee pads? You were. Just didn't draw into them. Only three of them. I'd definitely go four with this. I'm pretty sure I went four when I played with it. Oh well. It's good to see this deck around. Good to see this deck around. Hello, Ray Marta, and welcome. Alright, we got some cat action. That's what we want. We're gonna go second. We want the cats. That's what we want. There we go. Let's have some cats. This is a good starting hand too, I like the starting hand. Ah, Guardi. <laughs> well, this guy's sitting in the active, you're gonna lose a... Uh, lose a Pokemon unless you chuck him in the active. At which point I'm chipping into you, so that's also good, so... It's up to you what you want to do, buddy. It is up to you. But we don't mind seeing the old Ropes sitting in the active. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice, so you don't want that. We'll Crushing Hammer, see if we can get rid of that energy for you. Yeah, good. And we'll Nespa, we'll go and get ourselves set up with a Marsh Champ. And we'll chuck the old energy card on the Marsh Champ. We'll chuck a Power Plant down. And we'll chuck a Choice Band. Then we'll Shuffle. We're pretty happy with how this is um, setting up to begin with and I uh, didn't get anything else that's unfortunate oh well we'll just spoil the old fun here oh you resist me don't you oh yeah I forgot about that you do resist me that is unfortunate oh well oh well that's spoil. I mean what is interesting now is how you're getting <laughs> if you chuck this guy the active I get to chip in how are you getting him into the active and using the old NG attachment as well, so... Oh, you did get the candy! That is absolutely clutch! Alright, what well, is what it is. <laughs> You're gonna infinite force me, <laughs> which did not do much. Alright, so... We'll... Thinking we will run the Plumeria here. Eh... Not really worried about that. I don't think. It's not getting KO, and we can get the KO on the next turn. So, what we'll do is we'll Ultra Bump. We'll get rid of these two. And we'll go and get ourselves, I reckon, the Persian, because that's super important here. We need to attack with Persian. And then we'll Cynthia. Looking for more setup. So, we got a Rangaroo, that's good. That's one card that we want. Uh, we do want Mars Champ down, and we'll probably Ultra Ball here. Go and get ourselves, I reckon, just another Persian maybe. We could get Deancey's down. I like having Deancey's down actually. That's how we'll play. So Deancey down, and then we'll go the old Orang group. Got DCE. So, empty threat. Just chip in an extra 40. Get to in nice tasty range of the Marsh Champion. This is the old Cynthia play. Field block. That's unfortunate. So, what I'm thinking... Yeah, <laughs> I was stopping his uh, ability, wasn't I? It's kind of funny. Oh well. Infinite Force. Well, that's annoying. I kind of want to attack with this guy now. Um, we'll Lily for now. We'll Lily. Plenty of plume areas. All right. Well, empty threat. Can't believe you did not take me down. This is annoying. <laughs> I know you tried to still to set up, but seriously, it's annoying. I'm assuming you may be looking at switch to the Sylveon here. That might be what you're playing at. Gonna candy up. So you got double guardy up. And I do have to consider where am I taking off the NGs. Hmm. Do you need another NG card to start building you up too? At some point.
I don't like the fact that I've got four energies on you either. Alright. Damn, I wish I had that Guzma to begin with. Because I would just go after this guy, I reckon. Anyway, we'll plume area here. We'll get rid of Cynthia and Cynthia. And we'll take this NG off just in here, just to make that a little bit more awkward. On Espo, we don't want anything here, I don't think. Mm, could get a second of Rangaroo. Nah, we don't want anything. We're fine. We're fine. And for the moment, we'll just go with the 100 blows. Take out the Guardi. I just have a feeling a Plea GX could be coming. So if you goose my Plea GX, that would be super annoying. Because it'd set me back big time. Don't have the goose on the looks. It's fine, fairy wind. All right, and we have. Oh, this is beautiful. So we'll plumeria here. We'll get rid of the two lilies. Uh, I don't know why I actually plumeriaed when I think about it. Oh well. We'll get an orangaroo pool anyway. Out of that plumeria, uh, plumeria black. Don't want to do anything, we'll just act me of heroism. Smash through this guy. Keep in mind that I probably lose you this turn. I need to actually Lily to try and set this guy up. Or we'll find a baton. So we might be stalling after this for as long as we can. Though infinite force, yeah that's enough, that's plenty. So, But you do survive for a turn, which is good. There we go. Uh, we've got a cat, we've got a plumeria. I'm guessing you weren't counting on me surviving for that turn. <laughs> Hello, hippie Minicris, and welcome. Well, there's a lot of cats there. <laughs> Alright, well, Marsh Champ, this is not a good starting hand. It's the wrong type of cat to begin with. Like, I need a Meowth. <laughs> not a Persian. Plus, no draw. Uh, really not a good starting hand. Need to draw an Ultra Ball. A draw card or an Ultra Ball, that's what we're really after here. Probably after... Um, yeah. Oh, Rangaroo King can go down and we'll just chuck you on. And unfortunately that's all we've got. I'm assuming this is probably Pigarum. Which is a good matchup for us, but the fact that we're just so badly bricked. We don't even have a third NG. I mean, at least we got the second NG for this turn. If you let loose me, I'm probably going to be pretty happy. <laughs> Got way too many cats in hand. Way too many cats. Don't even have the KO on this guy. <laughs> this is so bad. So how are you going to go about playing this? Is it going to be a zap dose? You have that? Yes, you do. Okay. So you do have zap dose. That's unfortunate. Going to E-Power to a Lily. It's a really good chance, I'd say, you'd have on uh, attacking with the old Zapdos here. Well, I'm just completely bricked, and Zapdos is not ideal for me. Pigarom is, Zapdos is not, so... Do have one NG in the bin. I just can't even thin this hand to get an Orangaroo pool to try and bail me out. You are going to bench a Pigarum. Interesting. I mean, you didn't need to bench. You've only got one in the car. Uh, in the, uh, the old discard. And escape wrote me. Well, that's fine. We'll give you Orangaroo. You've got the E power. That doesn't get you a KO. And if it did hit, then the Zapdos is down anyway, so... That's fine, that's fine. Oh, we got a cat. Oh, cat down. And we're done. <laughs> that's all we can do. 
Really slow start for me. Unfortunately, I do give up the old Aranguru here. No matter what. But at least I can get rid of the Zapdos that way. It's bad value, but, you know, beggars can't be choosy. Ultra Bump. What are you going to go get yourself? I'm like really cold right now. I am shivering. Like seriously, it's... When I looked at the temperature, it's about 5.30 now, but... When I looked at the temperature, it was like 3.30 and it was 8 degrees outside. Oh, I hate this weather. Winter's well and truly set in here. <laughs> what are you getting yourself? Pidgeotto maybe? I don't know. Zero rod, just to get you the free retreat. Yeah, that sounds fair. I mean, you don't need to retreat out at the moment. Erica's. We're going to start setting up the pig rum. Yep, sounds fair. Oh, I'm so cold. Okay, so we have to go with the Marsh Champ here. There's no choice but to go with Marsh Champ. I don't know if I really need Deancey. Probably didn't need the Deancey in this play. Like in this match, but we'll stick with what we've got. Smack in. And assume the Zapdos is coming on the next one. Still didn't find a draw. So we have bricked up pretty hard, unfortunately. We just have to go the Meowth down. And you retreat out to the Zapdos here. At which point with the Zapdos hit in, I really got to hope for a top decked energy so I can use the old GX attack to protect myself. Because if this Marshamp goes down, I haven't got much hope. <laughs> have not got much hope. What a bad bricking. Surely I can't be too far away from... Why'd you switch? You didn't even need to use a switch card. But surely I can't be too far away from getting something that I can play. Just feels so bad not being able to play a thing. Still don't really understand why you burnt the switch to do that. Maybe to thin the deck a little bit? Who knows? Who knows? So, E power. So, yeah, I definitely need an NG this turn. That just has to happen. Oh, we get something that we can actually use here. So, shuffle. Okay, so that's bad. <laughs> we'll chuck the power plant down. And... We'll burn... These guys. We'll go... Let loose. That gets me the best value, doesn't it? Oh, well I don't have... Yeah, I don't have a Rangri left here anyway, so... We have to let loose, because we've got to find an energy card. That's something we do desperately need. We got the energy card, so that's fine. Energy card to you, to buy me another turn. Uh, we'll... Keep the nest ball. Chuck a Marsh Champ down. And we'll now Acne of the Heroism. Just to buy us a turn. Oh yeah, I've got all this energy discarding as well. <laughs> I've really, like, been drawing dead. Completely dead. Downside of Plumeria is I don't have a Rangaroo set up at all. It's 
So that is really bad. So I'm assuming he's coming out to use a retreat play of some kind. Hoping he don't have too many more Zapdos in deck. That's what we're really hoping for. Now we just have to get our Marsh Champ down back going. I wouldn't mind my Batten. That'd be really nice to get to. Gonna Volkner. Rescue Stretcher, these Zapdos are getting a really, really annoying. I'll say that much. They are getting seriously annoying. So you get chip damage in. I think we do Plumeria away this energy here. Because if you use the Tapu Koko, hopefully that makes it difficult if I Plumeria that energy away and just take out the Zapdos. Then I've only got to target down a Pigaron. Maybe I should have left the Guzma in deck. Oh well, it is what it is. I think that's what we're playing at here. Although you don't have to retreat. I just realized if you can't get rid of this power plant, you don't have to retreat. You've got to have a switch card or something. <laughs> I love the power plant. Yep, and he's just realized that himself. <laughs> Did not have the retreat. All right, we'll Plumeria away. We'll get rid of that uh, NG card there. He didn't need that. And we'll now go with the old... <laughs> 100 blows impact. And we've got another NG card. That's beautiful. So we can now go with a revenge play as well. I forgot about the old power plant. <laughs> Did not have the retreat. Ouch. Absolutely clutch power plant right there. Now he has no NGs on the board and I'm one prize card away. I don't really see what he's doing here. Don't really see what he's doing here. I've got the revenge play on the next turn. We are absolutely set, so... If he does manage to get rid of the Marsh Shadow and Machamp, that is, so... Pidgey coming down. So you didn't really get to see too much of the NG discarding and all the uh, shenanigans we got going on in this match. But... At least we... This does... Hang on. This only does 120, doesn't it? So Revenge doesn't actually get the KO on you. But luckily I don't need it. That's fine. Because we have the 100 blows impact for game. <laughs> So that's what you call a hard brick with victory. I mean, it did help that I was hitting for weakness as well, but hard brick vic uh, brick victory. Hello, I see. Welcome. All right. Starting hands haven't been quite as uh, fire as they were last night when I was playing around with this deck. But, you know, we'll live, we'll live. So we are going second. We've got a blue area if worse comes to worse. Zapdos. That's unfortunate. Cheap, efficient attacker. Be interesting. I mean, if you leave Jirachi in the active right now, it goes down. Chuck Zapdos in, then you got to go back out. I suppose the play is like Jirachi, and then if I take out this Jirachi, we'll just go to another Jirachi. But that's fine because we we at least get a prize card out of this Meowth, and in between times we can set up the Marsh Champ. So yeah, we're okay with that. We are okay with that. So Lily, getting a shrine out there. It's unfortunate with the hand I've got. Because there's not much to play. Gonna board probably to this Jirachi and then... That's what I'd do. And then you got the Jirachi sitting in the back one. Nope. Okay. That's fun. Alright, we got our Angry, so that's good. And... 
Chuck the DCE onto you. Will Plumeria... Oh, you didn't play an NG. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, spoil the fun anyway. Take out this Jirachi. Unfortunately, we might have to play down Viridian. Just to stop the pain on the back line there. That might be a thing that I'm just forced to do here, so... Shimmy take down the Meowth. So then I go with the Marsh Champ. I don't know really how I go against this deck. It's... I don't like my chances. I'm not going to get much value out of Plumerias, which is really bad. So... Be interesting to see if you Guzma him up. Maybe Guzma him up. I don't know. You'd probably Guzma him up. I'm anticipating a Guzma play here. Assuming this will probably be the beast version. Yeah, Guzma play, yep, unfortunate. Alright, well. We'll switch back. We'll shark and NG on to you. We'll Viridian, I reckon, because I've got to stop the pain. Just have to stop the pain here. We'll Plumeria. Get rid of that. Construct. We could get another Marsh Champ down, but I'm thinking we get Persian down here. Yep, that's fine. Persian. It might have only got one more Marsh Champ left in deck somewhere, so. I don't quite get the KO, but yeah, it's decent damage. I only had another cat, but oh well. <laughs> Could chuck a Meowth and take this out, but anyway. I mean, you have to get the old switcheroo going, which I'm assuming you've got. The more you can just keep Guzman this guy up, the more painful this becomes. Do you need a draw supporter at some stage, though? Gonna escape right me, you can have the Orangaroo. That's for sure. Not putting Marsh Champ out there. So what you need, E-Power. Two E-Powers to get the Orangaroo. Do like the fact that I've got the e cheeky first K, it's the only thing that's going for me at the moment. Not a lot more is. Got the Guzma to pull this guy back up again. This is just painful. Yep. And I've lost my other switch. And seeing what with that Zapdos, I would have gone with the other one because I would have struggled to KO the other one, I reckon. All right, well, let's Orangaroo first. Oops, Instruct. Hmm. Fully up. Go and get ourselves a Marsh Champ here. My only other one left. We'll get rid of the Meowth, get a Fighting NG, on to you, we'll let loose here, and right now we'll Acme of Heroism. Try and buy myself another turn. That's the general aim here. Buy myself another turn. Shame this is the beast version. Given the rainbow engines and whatnot, so 
it'd be on turning point turn, but I'm more concerned about the um, uh, Nihargo, Nihilgo, some whatever that is, the psychic Pokemon, because it just hits for weakness. And that's super bad for me. So. And I hate the fact that I can't get after this Jirachi yet. <laughs> Do strongly dislike that fact. And then after this, what we need to work out... I wouldn't mind finding my own Guzmas to be able to attack him with a Persian or something. I'd say I wouldn't mind at some point. Alright, so you're going to give up to Arachi. Interesting that you didn't retreat him out. Very interesting you didn't retreat him out. Alright, well, we'll start setting up the back line here. Well, crushing hammer. Missed it. Unfortunate. I think we do power plant for the moment. And we'll just 100 blaze impact, that's all we can do. Knowing that the Marsh Champ probably goes down in the next play. It's not what we're looking for in a Leland Persian. One thing about it, I probably should have ditched you with the Viridian. Definitely should have ditched you with the Viridian. Got the switcheroo, and that's all you need. Did you need the E-Power? You didn't. That was just overkill. It's just rude going for overkill like that. I can't even get the KO here, so we'll go Persian. That's for sure. Because so we can't actually get up to the KO, so... We'll Nest Ball, go and get ourselves a cat. And just empty threat. Smack into the Zapdos. And see what he wants to do here. Going to switch back. He's so got double switch. He's got Shrine, which is painful. Stellar Wish. So we're attacking with a cat, no matter what, in the next play. I don't like doing it though, if I go down here, which I'm assuming is a good chance of it. You need an E-Power though, and you did burn an E-Power, so... You've only burnt the one, so there's a good chance here holding one in hand. Gonna let loose me, you might not have the E-Power in hand then. And that is unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. <laughs> Please miss on E-Power. Cynthia, you are digging for the E-Power. I think you realise you desperately need it. If you miss on that E power, it's huge. If you get on it... You got it. Bugger. So, what we do... Is we definitely attack in with the Meowth here, or do we just go straight in with... Marsh Champ here? In mind, if I put Marsh Champ out there, there is a very good chance that he goes down. So I think we'll go the Meowth option. So there's some wisdom in my madness here. Hopefully. I'm crushing him up. We'll now just instruct for one, get some value out of this. We don't need to Crushing Hammer at the moment. That was just to thin my deck before. I didn't really get any value out of it. Just need to thin a little bit. Alright. Um, don't we just hold for the moment? We'll Empty Threat. Yeah, we'll just Empty Threat. Take down Zapdos. We have an energy card to retreat out of the Persian if you can't get him. I'm just worried about the Nihilgo, or whatever he's called. That he could be coming back. So I want to force him to have a Guzma at the same time to be able to get after the Marsh Champ. But he's got two turns to probably get Guzma because he can get to one prize card here. 
And if he doesn't play it, then I'm going to manually retreat. So this is the guy I was concerned about. If you've got Guzma, well done. That's the guy I'm concerned about. That's the reason Marsh Champ did not hit the field, like go to the active here. Went with Persian instead. But he does have, like I said, two turns to get the Guzma. So Cynthia, because he can pick on one of the backline Pokemon, especially while there's a Let Loose Marsh that is just sitting there to get it on the next turn. So yeah, so we are all in with Marsh Champ now. I kind of wish I did not have you two on the field, but it is what it is, and that's what we're all in for. So well, might as well hammer because we can. Get rid of that. Um, it doesn't matter how many of these guys I have out there, I don't think. We've just got to thin this hand a little bit, so we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of... I played this wrong, didn't I? Get rid of you two. Nothing to get. I do want to find a Guzma or a Tate and Liza. That's what I'm digging for here. So we'll go NGTU. We'll instruct. We've got the Guzma. We've got a Baton, which is completely useless to us, but have a Baton. And instruct. All right, well, we'll go with the 100 Blows Impact. And now the question is, do you have Guzma for game? You do need another attacker, but you don't need much to attack. You just need another Zapdos. So you need a Zapdos, an NG, and a Guzma. Is what I think you need. And if you've got that, well played. Well played indeed. Ultra Boom. So all the energy discarding I've got does not, like, this is not a good matchup for me. So you got the Zapdos, I'm assuming. Nope, gonna go with Buzzmosa. Okay. So you got the energy. now do you have the Guzma? You do. Yeah. Well played. <laughs> like, for a horrible matchup for me, I don't think I did too badly. For an absolute horrendous matchup for me, getting to one prize card in that deck, I think was pretty decent. Pretty decent. And it is time to rate this deck. So, starting with damage here, the damage is good, but we are still probably two showing a lot of the tag teams out there. So 160 base damage is really good, because uh, we can add choice band, that's 190, and then add Deancey's, that's 210, which is absolutely fantastic. And if you're using a GX attack, well then that can get up to 250. So that's a big attack, it's decent, but unfortunately we aren't one-shotting all the tag teams, so it's not perfect. Plus it takes a little bit of setup, but that's more reliability. So yeah, the damage, we do like it here, we're giving it a nine out of 10. As for the defense, well, we've got some one prizes that we're using, plus we've got a big hefty 270 HP, which is really tough to one shot. And that's what we like here, because if they can't one shot us and we can get our GX attack off, we might be able to uh, make our opponent three shot us, which is absolutely huge when you're playing this sort of Pokemon. So yeah, we do like the HP of this Pokemon. We do like the combination with the um, Acme of Heroism GX as well. So the defense is decent. We are giving it a 9 out of 10. As for reliability, well, in the end, like this deck was absolutely huge. I could not believe how well this is working, and I love this deck. I've played this deck so much because I just keep enjoying playing with it. It's absolutely filthy. You can get your cats up and running early, you can discard NGs, and often you just force your opponent into submission they just cut early which is the reason why I think I was playing it for so long but then you start hitting in with Marsh Adam with Champ at the end I absolutely love this the reliability was really good we're giving it a 9 out of 10 so overall what do I think well this is one of those decks that 
I was really pleasantly surprised. I didn't go into making this deck thinking too much of it and came out of it really enjoying myself. I love the Crushing Hammers, I love the Plumeria, I love the filthiness of this deck and I love being able to come in and hit in hard with our Marshadow and Machamp towards the end of the match. So yeah, we really like this deck, we are giving it a 9 out of 10.